So Scarlet Nexus has been a game I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Most of you know I do like these anime themed games and if they're actually good, I've got a very keen interest in them and having just experienced the demo that's currently available only on the Xbox platform right now, it is going to be available on the PlayStation platform and I assume PC most likely in a week, but for now it's only available on the Xbox. This game is an absolute masterpiece. We've only experienced a small segment, it does seem like it's hub based, but from what I've experienced in the combat, from what I've seen in the graphical fidelity, the voice acting, the combos, the sheer ability just to switch up your combat on the fly, this game truly blew me away. Seriously, I've been looking, I know I've been looking forward to this for quite some time, but it really is everything I could have hoped for and more. What does it remind me of? If you've played Gravity Rush, the graphical touch seems very similar to that, but obviously, you know, it's kind of like the same thing. But also the way the characters move, they're not floating around or anything, but it also has that kind of near automata feel to it in terms of combat. I, I just was really, really engrossed in what I was playing and I really enjoyed it. My first impressions of this game are really good. You do have this thing called the brain tree, which essentially allows you to, you know, learn new skills and abilities and power up your character, whether it's support, expanding or, you know, attack and defense orientated. You also have four characters that you currently have in the demo that you can switch between to use their skills. The brainwave that you use allows you to tap into other characters to use their abilities. So you've got telekinesis, pyrokinesis. I'm not going to sit here and try and remember all the names because I just won't. I've come off a very high from playing the demo straight onto this. You've got abilities that can, you know, enhance your defense or allow you to see invisible enemies. In the demo, you've got two characters that you can play as and both of them essentially are the same. Even the dialogue, surprisingly, was like word for word identical. The only difference here was the actual scenery that you was in. When you was playing as the female protagonist Kasane, it was in a more industrial site kind of place. Think near and you're kind of there in the open areas. Whereas playing as Yuito, the male protagonist, you was in Tokyo, I believe. And even the final boss that you fought in the demo was identical on each side. The only difference here being that the scenery was different. So the materials that you had access to around you because you can use your environment to damage the boss and these bosses will require that in order to stun them and, and effectively deal damage. But essentially they were the same and I would have liked a little bit more nuance different, but nonetheless their combat style of the two characters was so different that You'll have a clear preference if you go female or male. The male character Yuito uses a sword, whereas Kasane uses telekinesis with her blades in order to have that ranged attack. Both characters have their own set of appeal, both characters have their own playstyle, and it's refreshing. Even though the kind of story path that it was going down was almost identical, even the cutscenes were identical, with the difference just being the actual, you know, people talking. Well, when I say identical, you get what I mean. They were basically following the same exact dialogue, the same exact train. And that was a little disappointing. But overall, that doesn't diminish from how good and polished this game actually was. The sound was great. The gameplay was great. It was running, from what I could see, at full 60, at 4K. It, 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 it just played like a dream. And I'm really happy that this game has turned out the way it has. I'm hoping the rest of the game will be fleshed out more, more open areas for us to explore. I don't mind the kind of hub based areas where you land, you go from point A to point B and the mission's done and then you get taken back to your portal. You know, I assume it might be a bit like God Eater to a certain extent where you basically take your quest, you go out to town, you do what you need to do, complete the objective and then go back. I was picking up different types of materials. I didn't see any crafting bench that may be back at the hub. So there is a possibility that that will also be within the game. But overall, great first impression. If you're going to release a demo that you want people to be interested in, this is the way to do it. You can use your right trigger to pick up objects, fling them at the enemy and they will do 
moderate amounts of damage or you can use the left trigger on certain items where once you actually pick it up and it goes towards the enemy and impacts on the enemy you can follow that up and it requires certain button combinations with your analog stick in order to do that and certain items you can actually you know pound the enemy three or four times before that item that you've used with your left trigger is actually broken it's really cool the way it's done and mixing the character's abilities and you know their special attacks is just so satisfying it's just done so so well I, I mean I've pretty much pre-ordered the game as soon as I finish playing it because this is you know top notch it's exactly up my street this is the type of game that I really enjoy it's a single player experience I saw no multiplayer in this but you know if you're gonna hype a game and if you're gonna show the world snippets of the game and then give them a demo like this this is how it's done and i commend namco bandai for delivering what is i'm hoping a phenomenal experience with that said everyone that's just my first impressions of the game graphically it just looks stunning sound effects are great the music behind you know the ambience the enemies the hack and slashing the skills it all felt great it, it all sounded so well coming together hearing the debris from around you crashing into the enemies and having that real impact just made all the difference well let me know in the comment section below what you think i'd love to get your thoughts on this this is just a quick first impression of the demo and hopefully once the game comes out i'll have a more comprehensive impression review out for you all when that's done thanks for watching remain legend Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.